Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about locomotion of paramecium. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So paramecium performs locomotion by two methods: metabolic and by cilia. What is metabolic? Okay. So a paramecium can temporarily change its body shape because the cell itself has a flexible pellicle surface that's why it can change the body shape and the paramecium body is flexible and elastic which enables it to squeeze after which the body assumes its normal shape Okay, so basically metabolic is nothing but the change of the body shape which it can do by changing its uh, cell structure. Next is ciliary motion. Okay. The entire body surface of paramecium is covered by cilia. So in our last lecture we have seen that uh, this is the paramecium and it entire body has the cilia like structure like that right okay so what happens uh, the rapid swimming of paramecium is facilitated by the beating of those cilia beating means just like this uh, like sweeping these cilia are fine and hair like the animal can move forward and backward. Like it can move like that and it can move like that. So, cilia can move from anterior to posterior, enabling the animal to swim forward. This is called effective stroke. So, here is, suppose this is the animal. Okay. So, this is the anterior and this is the posterior. And these are cilia. So, these cilia could be moved from anterior to posterior. You can say in this direction. And this enables the animal to swim forward in this direction. And this is called as effective stroke. Similarly, the cilia can move from posterior to anterior, enabling the animal to swim backward. This is called recovery stroke. So here, this is the posterior, this is the anterior and opposite happens. That means the cilia is moved in this direction. That is from posterior to anterior. And it enables the animal to swim in this way. That is in the backward direction. This is called recovery stroke. Okay. During effective stroke, the cilia bend and move against water. So once the cilia bend in this way and move against water. So this is the water direction and the cilia is in beating in this direction. So these two directions are opposite. Thus it pushes the body forward and sends the water backward. Very simple. And just the opposite happens during recovery stroke. Here, the cilia bend and move along the flow of water. So, here is the water flow and you can see that the cilia uh, is moved along with the same direction, along with the flow of water. So, the direction is same. Thus, pushes the body backward and sends the water forward. Okay. So, this is all about today's lecture. I hope you liked the lecture. Thank you for watching my video.